Okay, video review of the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C docking station. This is dual display with 60 watt charging. I can read a box just like you can. So uh, let's get right to it. First is going to be with a Dell XPS 13. Totally kick-ass machine for those of you who don't do the uh, don't do the uh, Apple thing. I would say this is probably quite good compared to the Apple thing. I would say it's fairly equivalent actually. So uh, quite a fan of Apple's brilliance, but this is also good. Okay, let's compare this to my existing StinkPad Thunderbolt 3 Gen 2 Dock 4 with port 5, 6, 7, and 8. Sounds like something from Laverne and Shirley for those of you who remember that. Uh, that's what I've been using, and I was using that with a much thicker and fatter and admittedly good Lenovo P53 workstation. This is not a workstation, but I can actually carry it. The Lenovo P53 is much more akin to a Univac from 1960 or 54 or whatever that might be. So we'll get on to it. The pluggable. Start with the unboxing because that seems to be the thing to do. Oh, crap. The box is empty because I didn't want to put you through all that. It's already hooked up. Pluggable. It does use DVI, so I had to get two Cal Digit DVI to HDMI converters because my monitors up here in my Fortress of Power do not have DVI inputs. They only have HDMI inputs. Uh, it does have one single Thunderbolt 3 on the front. It is a charging connector, so it will charge my Dell Smell computer. has a USB-A. It is a 3.1 USB-A, so I can get some power and some speed out of it, just like the Thunder Smolt 3 thing from uh, Lenovo. Uh, one thing it doesn't have that the Lenovo does have is the incredibly stupid Franken cable, as it's called, believe it or not, by the... Uh, Lenovo support engineers. This is a Franken cable. I'm sure the marketing dorks said, well, if it's going to be a dock, we have to plug in both the power and the USB at the same time, or the Thunderbolt rather, at the same time. So we've got to put it in this stupid cable that you have to kind of wiggle it in. I know you're here to watch a review about the, the uh, pluggable device, and I'm ranting about the Lenovo one, but hey, it is a comparison. So it is a point of comparison. Uh, this is also, I think, 179 bucks, and this is more like 250 bucks. So uh, there too. Supposedly, this uses some sort of really late model Intel chipset. It's um, mid-May of coronavirus 2020. So that what is current chipset? Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know what the chipset name is. It's Iris or uh, something like that. You can look it up. On to the review. So here's what I did to install it. I took a power supply and I plugged it into the back of it with a regular old round looking power supply cable 20 volt cable I plugged in the two Cal digit adapters from Amazonia and they were about 20 bucks a piece that was 40 bucks additional I gotta say uh, I plugged the Thunderbolt 3 cable that came with it <laughs> hence the unboxing uh, right into my Dell Smell XPS 13 2-in-1 super cool computer. I plugged it into the monitors, which was already there. I turned it on. Don't look at my fingerprint. I mean my password. And lo and behold, look at that. One of them comes up, one of them doesn't. That's been a problem from time to time. Now, it's so much better than the other one. So if I unplug the Thunderbolt cable and plug it back in... <laughs> wait for it wait for it oh whoosh, oops <laughs> oh which one is it gonna be <sighs> that thunderbolt uh the lenovo one drove me batty because every time i would suspend my computer and turn it back on those two would start flickering on and off and on and i was about to have a seizure from that so I would have to shut everything down disconnect do a little dance hope it rained which it is today do a little another dance and so forth before this thing would finally power back up I really truly am not this is not hyperbole it was five minutes from the time the damn thing went to suspend mode 
to the time I could get back to work. Contacted Dell, uh, contacted Lenovo, looked on their support site and everything else. Everybody complains about it. Lenovo says, well, you've got to use a certain driver and a certain this and a certain that. Well, I'm not using anything special. I didn't even install a driver, and they tell you not to on the on the uh, pluggable website. So I think it's pretty great. I'm okay with this. Let's try suspending it again. I just closed the lid. The, the um, charge indication on the Dell is indicated by... The, tra <laughs> the charge indication is indicated. Golly. The state of charge is indicated by this bar of LED, which is kind of hard to understand, but it goes up to here, and I can see that. So the Dell laptop isn't fully charged. It is, though, charging from Thunderbolt Ski, and I'll show you that, too. God, I love jumping around in a review. This is fantastic. So here we are again. Uh, let's hide this for privacy. Don't know what I'm not supposed to show you here. Here we are charging. See that little dude? No additional things. It's charging right through the uh, right through the cable, which is fantastic. Once again, it didn't boot, uh, didn't power up the second monitor. I'll unplug and replug. You can rest assured I will be sending a support request over to Plugable, and I did see on their forums that they were extremely responsive to another person who had a somewhat similar issue, albeit with a Mac book. Pro of some sort or another, probably a real current model since it's Thunderbolt 3. And the last thing is, this does work with USB laptops too, and it will display 4K uh, 60 hertz refresh monitors, two of them. So um, um, again, bouncing around quite a lot, and I get that, and this is probably hard to follow, but when you do buy these Cal Digits, the reason for these and they're 20 bucks instead of like 12 or 15 is because these will do 4K at 60 hertz. The cheaper stuff that I found will only do 4K at 24 hertz or some diminished refresh rate like that. Uh, whatever you do, like and subscribe and make sure you buy Mead Envelopes, everybody. That's the sponsor for today's, that's the sponsor for today's video is Mead White 50 Count Envelopes. Absolutely the best way to go. They are something you can lick and stick. In fact, I got some here that are peel off. This is the way to go. Mead, the brand that works. Trust me, buy them, buy them by the thousands. Keep your post office in business. That was a fake plug, just in case you were curious. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.